What's up everybody, OGP back with you for another video. Today we are talking Barnes and Noble Criterion Sale. Yes, it's happening again, November 2021. The sale is going on. 50% off Criterion, 50% off Aero Video, and whatever else they had going on. So, you know, I'm all about it. You know, I'm all about that sale. So, went over to Barnes and Noble, bought a few things, a few things they didn't have, and uh, so I got online. And so I will show you what I got. There's still some stuff coming in the mail I haven't received yet, but I'm gonna show you what I've got so far and what I've picked up. And then uh, you can check out uh, what I saw at Barnes and Noble there. So uh, I have some video uh, of footage from the store. Once we're done with this part here, I'm gonna do the pickups first, then show you. So if you just wanna see the pickups and don't wanna watch uh, me looking through the store, you don't have to do that. So uh, anyways, uh, while I was there, the non-criterion uh, stuff that I picked up, uh, they had this guy, probably the last uh, Mandalorian um, Funko Pop I'll buy, you know, from that show. Uh, I've already got, you know, the child and a couple others, but uh, didn't have um, the actual Mandalorian with Grogu, no, you know, where he's known as Grogu and, and not just a child. So uh, I saw that sitting there. Ten dollar. Ten dollar make you holla. So I had to pick him up. And uh, then um, I was with my daughter and she noticed this. And so it's funny, I was um, on Fat Samurai Guy's channel the other day and somebody saw in the background all the monopolies and they're like, OGP hates Monopoly. And that was pretty damn hilarious. But um, we saw this, uh, my wife and uh, daughters are big fans of the show. So, um, you know, being like a Monopoly collector and then with them being fans of the show, I had to grab the Friends Monopoly. Oh yeah, that bad boy is still sealed. Probably not gonna open it up um, unless they, unless they really get the itch to. Um, but uh, anyways, the the cool thing about the Monopolies is is usually I mean you know the different names, but it's all pretty much the given stuff you know for Friends, the apartments and all that. But um, but the funny thing is I have no clue what a couple of the uh, collectible tokens are and um, one Marcel the monkey that was in I think season one that I think was Jennifer Anderson's pet um, that's pretty standard uh, then the couch they always sat on a couch um, you know in, in that like uh, whatever that restaurant or coffee place they always Central Perk or whatever right uh, then the people door frame from the door in uh, in the one when Monica and whatever her name was Jennifer Anderson's apartment and uh, the Central Perk mug, uh, but a lobster and uh, turkey with sunglasses, I don't understand those, um, you know, and, and having a wife and uh, daughters that are into the show, you know, don't uh, don't give me too much crap about knowing too much about this show, you know, it's very popular, you know, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm allowed to know a little bit about it, so, anyways, that was pretty cool, so we grabbed those two, um, and my daughter also picked up a Star Wars puzzle, that uh, she's actually building right now as we speak, so you don't get to see that, sorry. Um, but then, okay, so um, that was actually it that I got in the store. That's some of the things that I ordered in the mail, um, and the reason um, I didn't pick up more in the store, there was a couple things that I wanted to see that they didn't have, but uh, we'll get into that later. This is what I ordered online, um, sitting at home, filling around, and my, my actually my, my uh, shopping cart was really full, and I had to trim it down. Um, just so I didn't spend too much money. Gotta, gotta, gotta be careful. Gotta, you know, can't just go wild with stuff. But, um, anyways, uh, from the Arrow video, and that, that's why I've got all three of my Arrow videos that I ordered online. I've got them here right now, so I'll show you those. The Criterions are still coming in the mail. I'll do a separate video for those later on when I receive those uh, mail video. Uh, but I got uh, Bloody Birthday, the Arrow video edition here. And, um, that, you know, it's a movie I didn't have a copy of. Uh, regard either way didn't have a copy at all uh, the three movies here I didn't have uh, in any way shape or form so uh, to get the arrow video uh, for half price was pretty cool so bloody birthday and uh, that's what from like uh, yeah um, you know what I thought I remember the release date but it's you know these are all old school films they're all old school um, classic uh, horrors that you know anyone should have in their collection uh, if you hear noise in the background there's a high school football game going on about two blocks away so uh and it's just too uh warm to have the window closed so sorry about that got a problem with that you can suck it hopefully you don't it's kind of funny i think um but then uh, george a romero's the crazies 
from uh, this was 1970 and it's see I wish that uh, looks like 73 Pittsburgh films um, I wish they would um, with the arrow videos you know they've got a lot of the specs of the film down here but they they don't have uh, listed in big bold print uh, the uh, release year but I think I thought it was 74 but maybe it was 73 but anyways George A. Romero's The Crazies and uh, then last but not least Basket Case so uh, three classic horror films right there I picked up for half price from Arrow Video on the sale and that's what I've got in hand right now to show you um, but there was tons and tons of cool stuff online but it's still fun to walk through the store. If you guys would, if you're enjoying this video or you like my videos at all, we give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, that would be uh, really cool. If not, I ain't gonna be mad at you. I, you know, I appreciate it. And you know, if you just stumbled across me because the Criterion videos, that's cool. You know, everybody loves these uh, Criterion sales and seeing what people picks up. So kind of a fun little video here. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying it. Anyways, now we're gonna dive in to the shopping in person. All right, so in um, <laughs> in in the store, the uh, music was playing, so you don't get to hear my audio. But um, starting off with the Criterion Collection, and there was a guy at the other end, so I, I'm going backwards. I started uh, at Z and went backwards to A, and just kind of thumbing through to see if there was anything I liked. Um, I'll probably end up maybe fast forwarding a little bit through some of this, but I know everybody likes to see what they have. Um, but, uh, you know, anyways, if, if, if you didn't get to see something or don't get to see something in this video that you might be interested in or hope that they had, um, then, you know, you can always look on their website and it seemed like almost everything that I saw was available online. Some of it was not available in store. So, um, it's actually being that the price is the same and if you spend more than 35 bucks, so usually you get two items. Uh, it's free shipping, so um, it's almost kind of easier just to get online because, um, and one of the things we'll see here in a minute is the the, um, the Bruce Lee collection that uh, everybody was going crazy over a couple of years ago uh, because it was rumored to be going out of print, and um, so people were buying at half price, putting it online, selling it for, you know, like 120 bucks. And so um, that was actually, that's still available online, and that is um, one of the items I ordered, spoiler alert, uh, if you're still watching, um, that, that I'll be getting in a couple days. So um, anyways, just uh, thumbing through here. Um, so far, you know, there's there, um, you know, wasn't really anything that really, really caught my eye, but uh, we're in the S section right now, and we're getting close to uh, the R's, and the... Uh, Main thing, the real, real main thing that I wanted to see and pick up and look at was the Ringu collection, and um, that was, I, I know that, you know, the collection had like, it was supposed to have Ringu 1 and 2, and then I just couldn't understand with what they had online, the, um, the details about it, if there was like a third Ringu movie, or if it was... Um, like just the third disc was like a bonus features or something because it's supposed to be like three discs and so um, you know if it was just a bonus collection or bonus features I wouldn't have bought it um, because I already have Ring the original Ringu uh, so I would rather just go get Ringu 2 and have that rather than paying because I think the Ringu is normally $99 so you get a half price for 50 bucks so um, I don't need to spend 50 bucks when I already have uh, one, but if there's uh, a third movie that I'm missing, uh, which um, I, I'm drawing a blank on the title, but there was another movie that um, I ran across that said it was, uh, you know, the same director, like it was like, uh, I forget, it was either like, it took place after, I don't know if it was related, but it was like the, the filmmaker's next movie, so I kind of felt like that might have been part of that Ringu franchise, and I could be an idiot. You can leave a comment down below, let me know if I'm way off base or whatever, but uh, one of the things, you know, like when I'm talking to you guys and doing these videos, I don't want to be, uh, you know, going, like stopping to do the research and all that. We're just kind of talking and, and, you know, and having fun, and, and um, we can always look up things later, you know. We're in a wonderful world that we got uh, Google and stuff, and we can search and figure things out, so uh, if I'm off, then, you know, so be it, but you can let me know down below. That'd be cool. Um, but uh, anyways, yeah, kind of going through these. Yeah, this Night of the Living Dead. Um, you know, I mean, obviously great classic flick, right? But um, I've got it already on DVD and like how a movie that old, how good is it ever going to look? Um, you know, so I don't know that I want to spend 20 bucks 
um, on something that you know what I mean you can watch literally anywhere and everywhere for free um, you know just just to put in my collection that that was something that I kind of kind of contemplated about but um, I am a fan of Dustin Hoffman and, and uh, John Voight like who isn't but um, that didn't look exactly like a film that I would be too too interested in maybe so I skipped on that guy but um, anyway still kind of thumbing through and um, if you're tired of me rambling, tired of listening, but you're interested in, you can always mute me. Shut me up. I'd be fine, too. But, um, you know, hopefully uh, you're you're getting an idea of uh, what they've got going here. It, you know, one of the things to keep in mind also when you're in the Barnes & Noble is that people come through. And when, when, they, when the stalkers put these out, they put them all in alphabetical order. But then people come through thumbing through shit. <clears throat> and so you can't just assume that because something like Ringu isn't in the R's that it's not there. You really got to look through everything because people put stuff back in the wrong places all the time. <clears throat> and Moonrise Kingdom, that film right there, actually, I enjoyed that. That was kind of a cool flick, but um, I don't think it was something that I needed to spend uh, 20 bucks on to have in my collection. But um, but uh, anyways, you know, that one, if, if you... Uh, um, it, you know, kind of a weird film about kids and stuff, um, and, uh, you know, problems with adults, and anyways, it, it's a fun film, I recognize, if you haven't seen that, um, I would totally go Moonrise Kingdom, check it out, um, <clears throat> but anyways, yeah, so, you know, with people sticking stuff everywhere, you, you know, you kind of gotta keep your eye out and look around and thumb through as much stuff as you can, um, <clears throat> and this Bill Murray film right here, um, I've heard... It's kind of different or kind of, you know, uh, I don't know, out there. But um, I've heard good things about it. But um, I kind of probably rather see it before I'm willing to invest that money. But who doesn't love Bill Murray? You know, it's just one of the one of the uh, classic kings of comedy right there. But uh, definitely just not something I was ready to pull the trigger on right now. But, um, you know, anyways, pressing on and thumbing along here. Um, you know, some interesting stuff, and anytime you come across like that, like little collections or multi-film, uh, you know, uh, like collection, whatever, I don't know, I'm fumbling over my words now, but um, they're always interesting to look to see if, you know, what the special features might be, you know, in any of these really, um, you know, the little bonus goodies that come inside, the booklets or posters or, what you know, little mini posters, whatever you get, you know, it's kind of fun stuff with the criterions, but, um, you know, it just, you still, it's, you know, for everybody to decide. And this right here, The Irishman, um, it was a good movie. It was really long. Um, not Martin Scorsese's best film ever, but it was good. And it is one that I might end up buying before the sale's over. I looked at it, I picked it up, I held on to it, and then I was just like, you know what? It's not you know my favorite but you know when you got De Niro Pacino in the same movie Scorsese directing like that's that's something you got to give a little uh, consideration to so um and then uh I think did we pass uh Fear and Loathing I thought I saw Fear and Loathing sitting down there already but uh, Fear and Loathing, that's a film uh, that I picked up last time. And there, you know, I've, I've already bought a few um, Criterions on previous sales. So uh, some of these that might be flicks that um, I would normally be interested in, maybe maybe some of them I already had. So if, if you see something like, why the hell did you skip over that? Uh, maybe because I already got it. Like The Graduate. Of course, I've already got that. Love The Graduate. Classic, classic movie. In fact, I remember we um, we had to study that in high school in our film class, or you know, video production class. But we had to do like film study in there. So, and then the game, of course, you know that's another classic. But um, you know, I just like Michael Douglas, Sean Penn. Like, it was it was good, but um, I just I don't know that it's something that I need to spend that kind of money have in my collection. And it's you know the, the cool thing about collecting is. You know, there's no, you know, guidelines or goals or anything. You just get, you know, whatever you like. And, and to me, that's a movie that I enjoyed. And, like, if I see it on TV, I'll, I'll stop and watch it or whatever. But uh, there, here's another one. The Fisher King right here. I 
with Robin Williams and Jeff Bridges, I'm like, dude, I am sold. But it was really weird. And uh, if you guys have seen it and, and liked it or whatever, let me know down below, would you? Uh, Fluffy and I tried to watch that, and it was just like, whoa, what? You know, like, we just could not get into it. And about halfway through, we end up turning it off. But um, yeah, but it's not going anywhere. I'm not going to get rid of it, you know, just because of the cast alone. So uh, that was good. And then um, also we uh, we passed up a minute ago. Fast Times at Ridgemont High. That's another one I picked up last, either July or last year or something. But um, definitely had to have that. Um, cool story about Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Um, the um, filmmakers when they when they were doing it, the inspiration for the film. Um, they uh, got from the high school that my dad actually went to while he was in that high school, so that was pretty cool. Uh, but here's the one. Here's one. Dazed and confused. This is like I'm like holding this. I'm going like yeah, you know what? Because of like the classic like comedy that it is, like I probably should have it in my collection. But you know what? Honestly, I'm just like not anti pot smoking, but I'm not that big. Like I don't smoke. But, um, you know, like, I'm just like, I don't know, it didn't do much for me. But uh, their Blue Velvet, that was great. Dev David Lynch's Blue Velvet, if you have not seen that, I highly recommend that. It was excellent. Um, but, uh, uh, but anyways, Dazed and Confused, just not my type of film. It was okay, but uh, just, you know, not, not my cup of tea. So not nothing I need in my collection, even though it, it does look like a really cool uh, item to have. But if it was free, I'd take it 100% for sure. But I ain't giving shit away for free here. So, but, uh, you know, anyways, yeah, you can see I'm, I'm in the D's now. And I went all the way through. I looked at all the films, um, you know, keeping my eye out for, for Ringu and um, anything else that might catch my eye uh, that, um, you know, I don't have or uh, didn't see online. And so, um, you know, just went through. And, and um, obviously, like I said earlier in the video, uh, the only things I bought were the Monopoly and the Funko Pop. So, um, obviously, I didn't buy anything here. But I'm just kind of showing you guys. And, and if you're curious, I guess I didn't mention this yet, and I should have. Um, but this was uh, the Barnes & Noble at the Tyler Galleria Mall in uh, Riverside, California, off of the 91. Uh, it's really close to the Van Buren Swap Meet uh, Fluffy and I used to go to. Uh, very, very cool. One of the better swap meets in Southern California. Um, and uh, really close to there, and then there's a Savers uh, right down the street from this place here. Uh, so right in the middle, right in the middle of Riverside. Um, and if, if you're not familiar with Southern California, it's that's about uh, you know a half hour east of like Disneyland, Anaheim area, uh, maybe in let, let 45 minutes from downtown LA, that kind of thing. So, anyways, uh, showing you here some of the other. A uh, couple sections of Criterions that they had uh, bookends, and then um, they also had this Christmas section with with Christmas movies unrelated to the sale. Uh, but um, I'm, I, you know, I, you know, my wife and I are all about Christmas, and I like Christmas horror movies, and I like regular Christmas movies. So um, had a thumb through that, and then uh, lastly, we'll take a look at these Funko Pops over here, which uh, a couple cool ones. Um, but I don't. Uh, you know, nothing there that was like screaming at me that I needed to get, but um, you know, some some pretty cool stuff, and it's always fun to check out the pops. If you would give me a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it so everybody else can know how much you like because you know those algorithms out there on YouTube and everything. If you like it, the, it'll show more and more people. So um, anyways, I appreciate you watching. I really, really do. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, until I see you again, uh, take care and uh, be safe out there. Avoid the, the cuckoos and crazies and don't get no COVID.